What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about the menstrual cup. It's a teeny tiny little thing. And it comes in such a cute little bag. How cute is this? I have been wanting to do this video for time since I actually stopped the pill. Since then I have been using the menstrual cup and absolutely loving it. The first menstrual cup was the Moon Cup, launched by two women in Brighton in 2002. Back then, talking about free bleeding or in general periods was a major taboo. Today, 18 years later, we've come a long way and it's not a problem anymore to talk about our periods. Although, there's a few of my male friends who still get a bit grossed out when I talk about my blood, which for me is only an incentive to talk about it more. I'm only doing it for you. You're welcome, guys. But I'm digressing again, as usual. Let's go back to the menstrual cup. I'm not gonna lie, of course, it took a little bit of getting used to. To insert it, I usually use the U-fold or the seven-fold. But mainly, I had to get used to how to take it out. I'll be honest, I had quite a few moments of terror when I just couldn't find the little thing inside me. I kept going deeper and deeper and I just couldn't find it. It was so scary. And of course, I tried calling for help. Babe! But my boyfriend was completely helpless, which to be honest, he hardly ever is. Finally though, after having got elbow deep inside me, I sorted it. Found it! Now I am a total pro in getting the cup out of me. You just have to squat and push. Basically just give birth to it. Another thing to mention about the menstrual cup is how accustomed you will become with your own blood. So if you are a little bit grossed out by it, I would recommend getting over it because basically the cup fills up with your blood and all you have to do when you take it out is tip it and rinse it with cold water, otherwise it gets stained. You can also feed your own blood to your plants, apparently they love it. I haven't personally tried that because I haven't got plants. I don't have a nurturing side. They just forgot to put it in a factory stage together with any kind of filter and shame. I did feed my blood to the bathroom floor once and then promptly cleaned it all up hoping that my boyfriend would never find out. Hi. What? Nothing, nothing, no. This? Um, no, no, just um... So what's up? Bye. Of course it will now. It was an ancient tribal ritual to bake the first menstrual blood of a young woman into bread and then feed it to the tribe. You can try that one out. Mmm. Want some? Seriously though, using a menstrual cup will really help the earth as pads and tampons make up 200,000 tons of waste every year. And you save a lot of money because with the right care, every cup will last years. Happy free bleeding! Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week for another video. Mwah! Ciao!